Hello and welcome to Ask One to Grow on our mini episode series that answers your questions, queries, and concerns. Today's question comes from Lindsay on Twitter, and they ask, "What is a berry?" Okay, so we had an episode a while ago that addressed whether or not a tomato was a fruit or a vegetable, but today I'm going to get a little more in depth with what is a berry specifically. So, if you want to go back and listen to that episode, you can. It was a few months ago. But for recap, a fruit is basically anything with a seed inside of it. If there is a seed inside of it, it is a fruit. So we categorize fruits in different ways. One of the main ways we have categorized fruits is dehiscent and non-dehiscent or fleshy. So a good example of a dehiscent fruit is something like a pecan or a sunflower seed or a walnut. All of these are dehiscent, so they don't have any water in them. They're fairly dry. So a fleshy or non-dehiscent fruit is something like a cantaloupe or a cucumber or a banana. All of these are fleshy fruits. So within those two categories, we have more categories, and one of the categories of fleshy fruits is berries. So a fruit needs to meet the following criteria in order to be a berry. So it has to be fleshy. It has to be developed from one ovary. So that basically means one single flower was fertilized, and then that ovary, that fertilized ovary, turned into the fruit. So things like mulberries and blackberries and raspberries don't count because they're developing from multiple ovaries. All of those little sections on a raspberry, those are all developed from different ovaries. So it's a different kind of fruit. So it has to be fleshy. It has to develop from one single ovary, and it also has to have an edible pericarp. So a pericarp is basically outside. So a good example of a true berry from the botanical stance is something like a blueberry. Grapes are also a really good example of this. Tomatoes, actually, from a botanical standpoint, are berries. So are chili peppers, eggplants, and bananas. Things like raspberries, blackberries, and mulberries are actually called aggregate fruits. So it's just a different category of these fleshy fruits that we use in botany to kind of understand how these fruits were formed and what kind of attributes they have. Thank you for listening to this mini episode of Ask One to Grow On. If you have your own questions that you'd like answered, you can email us at askone to grow on pot at gmail dot com or post with the hashtag Ask One to Grow On.